Okay, so we're going to prove an example. This example was in the second assignment. So it states that the limit of 2 over n outside of n plus 1 as n approaches infinity is equal to 0. So we must show, using the definition, that For, for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists some m, an element of the natural numbers, such that for all n element of the natural numbers, n greater than or equal to m implies that the absolute value of 2 over n outside of n plus 1 minus zero is less than epsilon. So, first off, what we need to do is get a handle on what this means. So, obviously, since we're subtracting 0, this is equivalent to 2 over n outside of n plus 1. So the absolute value of 2 over n outside of n plus 1 is less than epsilon. So, one thing which is implicit here is the absolute value is always greater than or equal to zero. So if we are able to show that this is always less than epsilon, it has to converge to zero, essentially, because it's being in intuitively squeezed between zero and epsilon. Okay? So... I'll prove it bit by bit, but the basic way we're going to prove it is we're going to show that 2 over n outside of n plus 1 is strictly less than 1 over n for sufficiently large n. So we can get this by using a corollary of the Archimedean property, which is that for all epsilon greater than zero, for sufficiently large n, one over n is less than epsilon. So then by transitivity, we can see that this will then also be less than epsilon. Okay, so let's prove that. So, the easiest way that I've found to show that one value is always less than another is to take that value and subtract it from another from the value you're trying to show it's less than and then demonstrate that this is less this is greater than zero so it's positive so let's do that. Okay, so 1 over n minus n over 1 over n minus 2 over n outside of n plus 1. So we find a common denominator. So n plus 1 minus 2 over is it easy? 2n? No. I'll cut that out. <laughs> so we find a common denominator. So we get n plus 1 minus 2 over n outside of n plus 1. Okay, so we can simplify this. So we get n minus 1 over n outside of n plus 1. Okay, so what we need to ask ourselves is when is this going to be positive? So, the denominator will be positive for all n element of natural numbers, since in this course we've assumed that the natural numbers do not include zero. So the natural numbers are equivalent to the positive integers. So, what we're really concerned with is the numerator. So we have to show that the numerator will be greater than zero, essentially. So we just say n minus 1 
greater than or equal to zero. And we rearrange this, so we get n greater than or equal to one. Okay. n greater than or equal to one. So, in the definition of convergence, uh, we can pick essentially a sufficiently large natural number. So, the fact that n is greater than one, or has to be greater than or equal to one, is it easy? Strictly greater than one, <laughs> uh, is no barrier. So, if we so we can safely assume this and still continue with the proof. So we just make a little note, assume, make a little note, assume n greater than 1, and we proceed with the proof. So re recalling the definition of convergence for all epsilon greater than 0, so, we already know that for any epsilon greater than zero, uh, one over n is strictly less than epsilon for some n. So, one over n less than epsilon, so there exists some n element of natural numbers such that that holds for all epsilon greater than zero. So now that we've shown that 2 over n outside of n plus 1 is strictly less than 1 over n, but is still positive, we can assert we can assert that 2 over n outside of n plus 1 is strictly less than 1 over n for n greater than 1. Okay, so by transitivity, by transitivity, 2 over n outside of n plus 1 less than epsilon for all epsilon greater than 0, and because 2 over n outside of n plus 1 is always positive, uh, the absolute value is equal to it. So we just say that. So essentially we've now proved convergence. Okay, so that's cool. The tricky bit is writing it out nice and neat. <laughs>